Hey there guys, what's up? I'm not stealth bro here, and today I'm back with another Retail Tycoon video, and you might be wondering, well, I mean, this isn't Thursday, it's not Friday, what what kind of update is there? And you would be right, it's not Thursday or Friday yet, which is usually when the updates came up, or come out, I should say, but um, I wanted to do a different type of video, so, uh, not, I mean, I don't really think I've seen anyone do this, so... I'm probably gonna be like the first one too and I mean I felt like it'd be a fun video to make so why not today I'm gonna be going over the top five Easter eggs slash secrets you did not know about in Retail Tycoon 2 so this is gonna be a very interesting one let's get right into it so might I add I also um, did six for this instead of five but you know for thumbnail for title sake it's five okay so Starting off at number six is these little pathways right here, and it's a little it's a little interesting because one pathway leads into just a wall of nothingness, so you know you can't even go past there. But then you actually go to this other path over here, and I mean it's gonna take me a tiny bit, but as you can see, the pathway <clears throat> leads nowhere again. But this time it leads to an open area, but that open area is just like a fall to infinity so I don't know I thought this was pretty interesting most people don't really explore the map and stuff so you've probably haven't even noticed this before you probably just thought oh, whatever probably just skipped past your mind right so yeah that's number six now why don't we move on to number five moving on to number five we have these randomly placed benches everywhere and I mean they're like a couple places around the map that you wouldn't expect them to be specifically this one where it's probably one of the easiest to find and it's just looking out on the edge over here just doing nothing I think this is probably a reference to retail tycoon one because I remember them doing this uh, back then too pretty cool uh, you know that they keep some stuff from the old map and stuff but why don't we move on to number four for number four we actually have to go to Alan's autos right here but did you know that just back here you could actually buy go-kart uh, me personally, I did not know this for a while until I actually just looked through all the vehicles. You can also buy a snowmobile, which <laughs> I don't know the purpose of that, but the go-kart does actually have a purpose and with this number four spot, I actually included the other thing that makes it so important. So why don't we go over to that real quick. So over here by where some people might just drop down to uh, get to the little loading dock from over here, you can actually go to the side right here and there's a little secret area you might just think oh it's just a windmill or whatever but actually over here ta -da, there's actually a go-kart racing area right here to which you can stand on here a uh, match will start you know when the counter is done ticking down and there's also a leaderboard for it which in my opinion i thought was very cool i didn't even know this was here to be honest i don't know how someone got two laps in seven seconds i'm pretty sure they just hacked or maybe glitched it out or something to do that but yeah that is our that is our number four spot so why don't we go on to number three what could be more interesting than this well our number three is actually conveniently right over here so maybe you noticed this maybe you didn't i mean i kind of arranged these so that the first ones were less obscure and then these ones are more so um, right over here where this light pole is very luminous it goes all the way down this um, this pile of other street lights is here there's a pink or purple whatever you want to call it there's a blue and there's like a dark blue or black that's also debatable but um, yeah it I don't know it just adds a little bit of mystery to the map because it's like why are these here like I don't remember it ever being like a reference to the actual retail tycoon game so uh, maybe there's something in this game retail tycoon 2 that they did with street lights or something I'm not sure if you guys know then you know maybe you can help me figure out what this means but yeah so that's number three why don't we move on to number two Ooh. and number two is actually gonna be right over here by where I placed my base but if you go past this little water area right here, swim through it, whatever, you could probably notice something glowing right here. And actually, it's a little toad with um, orange, red horns, whatever you want to call them. I'm pretty sure they're like red neon horns. But anyways, um, the reason these are so important is because 
in the uh, in Retail Tycoon 1. They actually have like a similar thing of this. I'm going to put a screenshot up of it now. This used to be movable before. I think they just forgot the anchor it and you're able to like kind of kick it around here and stuff. But they fixed that and all. So no more doing that. But I'm glad they fixed it at least. And you know it's another thing from, uh, from Retail Tycoon 2's past that... I thought was cool and you know not a lot of people really see it here so you know felt like I'd put it at number two now I know you know this list has been a little maybe scuffy I mean I tried to um, you know put them in order as best as I could or at least as I think I could but this number one spot is definitely number one I know a lot of people have not seen this one or noticed it so I'm actually gonna go over to it right now I'm gonna show it to you and you're gonna be like wow I didn't know that and you're gonna take something away from this video so why don't I go over to it so this one is actually going to be at the loading dock and you have to get up here which I was able to manage to do first time but you might think what's in the loading dock over here like some in the boxes which that would be cool if there was and also I just noticed him right here <laughs> so you know what maybe this should be number one or maybe i should remake the list i don't know but look we'll do these together so i'm not sure if they just added this recently but i just noticed this little dude right here this little sussy dude right here uh, which is kind of funny because you know making the tier list about things you haven't seen i find something like that but anyways it's actually not even that which to be honest i think is cooler than this one but you have to zoom out a little bit over to this window and as you can see on the left side, there's like a little poster thing or whatever. Just like a random picture from some random website that I have not heard of. I tried searching up the the thing and all, but I couldn't get anything. It says RAR, that means use beautiful in dinosaur. And it has like a nuke right there with just a whole bunch of RARs on it. And uh, you could probably see through the window right there. Just a little dude in a dino costume or a girl. Who knows? But yeah, um, that that is what I found before this, surprisingly. So I believe they just added the little Among Us thing. But I mean, it could have just passed my head. Who knows? Stuff like that. But yeah, there you go. Now you can make that seven Easter eggs slash secrets that we found today. Because, I mean, <laughs> I didn't actually expect to find that there. I'm pretty sure they just added that because when I was there, I did not see that, or else I definitely would have put it in. But yeah, um, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, you know, trying to do different things, but you know, with some of the same games that you guys watch for and all. So I hope you found this enjoyable, maybe helpful. Now you wanna go see the little Among Us and praise him. But yeah, uh, if you did leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And if you wanna see more retail tycoon content since i do update videos on it and sometimes these little like side videos which i do have another one planned already so stay tuned for that but yeah subscribe for that turn on the bell do whatever and that's gonna be it i'll see you in another one and peace out